people will comment and say who edits your videos and the answer is moi i am a one woman show i film i edit i produce i do all the things so in today's video i wanted to share with you how i edit my vlogs specifically and i'm going to go into detail like my full process and sort of show you what i do and how i make my videos come to life and without further ado let's get right into it and start at the very beginning importing your footage into your video editor i would recommend using whatever Whatever video editor comes free on your computer. If you have a MacBook like I do here, use iMovie. I used iMovie for the first two and a half years of vlogging and everyone would say, oh, what editor do you use? iMovie because it's free. <laughs> or you can use Final Cut Pro, which is where I will be demoing most of the things today because that's what I'm editing on now. But that being said, Final Cut Pro and iMovie are actually very similar in their commands, how they look and how they function. It's gonna be easy for you to tell what's happening so first things first import your footage to your video editor and then we get on to the most tedious part of the edit in my opinion which i like to call rough cuts so i do two rounds of rough cuts on every video maybe three sometimes but basically what you do in the first round of rough cuts is you cut out all of the footage that's not good it's shaky not relevant to your story didn't work out lighting is bad for whatever reason if you don't want to include it just remove it. So I find it useful for two reasons. First being, it helps narrow down your footage. And second being, it gives you a better idea of what you're working with and sort of how you can go from there. Then you're gonna go in and do your second round. And this is where you're gonna really refine things and start to build your story. When you're doing your second round of rough cuts, I like to start with my talking clips. What I do with my talking clips is just remove anything that does not need to be there. And I get really specific with it. I have a really bad habit of saying like all the time and it drives me insane. Sometimes people comment on it and I just hate it. So I try to remove my likes, my ums, my butts, awkward pauses, anything that doesn't serve your story or sound good or you said something stupid that maybe you wanna cut out because let's be real. That happens a lot. <laughs> really lean out your talking clips to just the core of what you want to say. So once you have the core of what you want to say down, it's really important that you kind of smooth out your audio. So what I'll do is I'll say I have two talking clips together. I will detach the audio from the first clip and make sure that the audio from the first clip runs over into the audio from the second clip. And then I taper off the end so there's no awkward cuts or pauses and it makes the whole thing seem more cohesive. As for your B-roll, when I'm doing my second round of rough cuts, I like to go through and cut all my footage down to about two seconds for each clip for B-roll. You do not need like a 10 second panning shot. I'm telling you two seconds is more than enough. And then once you've picked the clips that you like best for your B-roll, what you're gonna do is go through and stabilize them. This is a really easy feature that's available in both iMovie and Final Cut Pro, and it really makes your footage look so much better. So once you have finally finished your two Two rounds of rough cuts honestly sometimes I do three because I just want to be sure that I only have the clips left that I absolutely love you have successfully made it to the fun part of the edit I've got to be honest up until this point editing for me at least is really tedious it's a ton of work you can get bored because you're sorting through hours of footage at least in my case I am once I've done all my rough cuts and I'm ready to head into the composition phase this is where we party this is where you get creative and you really build out your story put all of your footage together in a way that's going to really show your audience the world through your lens so the first thing that i do when i'm in the composition phase of my edit is i pull all of my absolute favorite b-roll clips from the whole video and i drag them right to the very beginning of my video i'll also look for really good like talking clips or sound bites where i'm extra excited or clips where i feel i'm talking about something or saying something that really illustrates what's going to be happening and what people can expect to see in the video 
video, I'll drag that to the very beginning as well. For now, we're gonna leave this. We'll come back and sort of refine it later when we get to the music side of things. What I do next is I look for longer talking clips in my video and I will overlay B-roll at either the beginning, middle, or end so that I can better illustrate what I'm talking about or add more color to anything I'm referencing with actual footage of said thing I'm referencing. The other reason that I like to overlay B-roll on my talking clips is because I think it just makes things more interesting. So now that you've finished the composition part of your edit, it's time to add music. And this is such an important part and such a fun part of editing. I like to use Artlist. Artlist is by far my favorite copyright free music platform. They have the best songs. They don't sound like janky. Like some copyright free music is really like janky sounding. Do you know what I mean? Theirs sounds like something you would see in like a Brad Pitt movie. It's amazing. <laughs> so I'm a big, big fan of Artlist and I actually have a link in my description where you can get two months off your own subscription to Artlist. You can search on Artlist for songs by mood and this is how I search for all my music I just find it works best for me and that way I can really match the vibe of my video with the mood of the song I'm putting in there Artlist will also recommend to you their top songs like what they think is best and their recommendations are good I'm telling you so once you've picked your song from Artlist what you're gonna do is drag that into your timeline and pull it right to the very beginning and then what you're gonna do is take that b-roll that we had pulled to the beginning before and cut it up on the beats of the song so you always want your footage to change along with the music so it really is a cohesive professional looking video and then what you're gonna do is throughout the rest of your video take songs and overlay them and do the same thing on all of your b-roll if you have a long talking clip where you feel background music would enhance what you're saying add it there just keep it quiet you never want to have background music be overpowering it just like I said, it doesn't sound good. And then once you're done with your music, you are at the final stage of your edit, at least how I edit, this is my process, and that is color grading. Because this is a beginner's tutorial, I am going to keep it really, really simple for this. I feel like I could do a whole other tutorial on color grading, but if you're working in iMovie, I would actually recommend doing the auto enhance on all of your clips because I found that it's actually pretty good. And then if you wanna go further, what you can do is adjust your saturation Saturation, increase it or decrease it depending on how your camera picks up footage and increase your contrast. These simple steps will make a really big difference in making your footage look crisper and more professional. So that's as much detail as I'm going to go into for today's video for color grading. In theory, you should have a beautifully made, really well flowing video in front of you and you should feel proud of yourself because honestly it's like a battle and a half to get to the final result of a vlog. But I hope I hope that you found this tutorial useful. I really just wanted to share my process with you. I know that everyone does it so differently and we all have, you know, a different way we edit, but this is how I do it. I find that it's very effective for me. Thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure you leave this video a thumbs up. Say hi in the comments. Tell me something new you learned today or something maybe that you didn't know before. And I will see you in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Oh, my leg is asleep. Oh, oi, this is not good.